Hi. Yeah, we're back. <laughs> we're back, we're here, we're doing floor work. You guys have been demanding this. The crowds have been knocking at my door, setting buildings on fire. They have spoken. Throwing, to, I don't know, tomatoes. Boy, dangerous fans. Yeah, you guys are scary, okay? They know what they want, for God's sake. You wanted basic contemporary floor work. This is kind of lyrical, contemporary, modern floor work. Um, I'm gonna show you the different movements separately and then I'm gonna teach you a little combo that has all of them in it. So, find some space on the floor that won't hurt your little body and let's get grooving. What is he doing behind me? He's gonna lay down. I got, I got some space on the floor, as per your instructions, Miss Ati. I'm a good listener. Okay, friends, so you're gonna start on the floor, hence floor work. One knee is tucked. I'm sitting on that back foot and that other foot is ready to be stepped on in the front. This is called your chug, because you're chugging, chug, chugging across the floor, okay? It's gonna start with a step of the front foot. The way that I'm moving is on top of that bent knee, okay? I'm not jumping onto my hip, I'm sliding, I'm chugging literally on my knee. Pro tip. Probably more helpful to wear pants. <laughs> yeah, I have a hard time. <laughs> so you may see me leave the floor a little bit. I yeah, might might have to come off the floor a little if you're wearing shorts. I would wear leggings or tights or just something that slides more easily. So I have my right knee down. We're gonna press off of our right palm. That's what is supporting you. You're gonna step forward with that left step, chug. We're gonna go in a circle. Step, palm, chug. Now, if you notice, that left arm is kind of throwing back, and that's helping you propel forward. So we'll show you one more time. Step front, palm down, propel. We'll show you in a circle in full time. Let's just do three in a row. Ready? Okay. Five, six, seven, eight. And chuck, and chuck, and chuck. And that is your <laughs> chuck. chuck. Okay guys, this next one is called your monkey. Because monkeys are very cute. Oh, they're cool. And they kind of move like this, like a little gorilla. And that's how this movement kind of looks. We'll show you in full time. Six, seven, eight, and step, tuck, tuck. So, whoa, <laughs> couple, couple steps to get you there. Start parallel with a little bit of a wider than hip stance. Your hands need to touch the floor first before anything happens. So my hands are coming down. They need to be wide enough, wide fingers for you to push up onto them. This outside leg tucks in, and as you do that, you jump up to step onto it. So let's rewind. This leg that bends is the one that you're stepping onto. Five, six, seven, eight. Bend, step. Other way, seven, and bend, step. Other way, seven, eight, bend, step. That's your monkey. Ooh. The third floor work. Oh, my voice. Oh. <laughs> oh. The, third floor work. the third floor work is your monkey tuck. This little guy tucks to the floor. So, you already know your monkey. But what's gonna happen is, instead of stepping onto that bent leg, it gently tucks to the floor. So Matt will show you in full speed. Five, six, seven, eight. Hands bent to the floor. So, this looks really scary. You're like, hey yeah. lady, oh. I don't wanna break my kneecap. Neither do I, that's okay. I but, guess what, you're not landing on your kneecap. You're actually landing on the side of your shin and kind of this anterior tibialis. Mm, look at you, doing your homework. Degree and dance, baby. Okay, um. so when you come up, think about landing over the top of that toe and it will control the come down. Do you see how I kind of went to the side instead of going directly on my knee? I'm slightly over that shin. So let's try it again. Nice and slow, we stand up, a wider parallel, we go hands, tuck, toe, down. If this is really scary for you, you can go to a demi point and then work your way to going over your toe. And what I, I mean by that is here, demi point, coming down to your knee 
and sitting. So you're first gonna start by coming down to here, then putting your knee down. So we'll show you a couple more times. Five, six, seven, eight. Palms bend over your leg. Let's roll and stand up again. Six, seven, eight. Go palms bend over your knee. Roll to stand. Monkey tap, baby. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do our back roll. This is very, very um, modern centric. This roll is like the core of modern technique, okay? You're gonna start with a slice. Shout out Summer Brown. Remember hey, she had us a little slice bread? She did, I still use that. Hi Summer. Slice your bread, better. You're gonna sit on your feet. Your knees are facing forward. You're gonna take your right hand. It's gonna hit the floor. Slice. Your left leg extends back. You lay on your side. I now have contact with my hand, my shoulder, my hip, my booty. I'm gonna roll on my back, keeping my right hand on the floor, all the way on my back. I'm not up. I'm on my back, hence back roll. And I go all the way to my left side, right hand goes overhead, and I come back to a nice tuck. Let's rewind. We're here. Six, seven, eight. Slice the floor. Left leg extends. Roll on your back. Right hand overhead. Curl in. Sit up. Should we do that? Not like with the speed of molasses. Yeah, it'll be easier. Though. We're gonna go faster. And five, six, seven, eight. Slice. Roll. Come up. Try that again. Six, seven, and slice on your back, roll up. And that is your roll, baby. Please don't put that in. Okay, peeps, we're on to our last one, and this is our surprise challenge. Bring your moms up. This one is not really a beginner move, but it's actually not as difficult as it looks because there are just a couple mechanics to it. Um, it's called your dead fish roll. <laughs> let me uh, let me show you what it looks like. So you're here, you're gonna push up and over and roll. Now I know that looks crazy hard, but I'll teach it to you, I'll break it down. So bring it back. You're gonna start by laying on the floor, my favorite position. <laughs> favorite position to always be, it's just a little sleepy. Okay, I'm on my tummy. My back arm is completely flat on the floor. My front arm is close into my chest and my palms are pushing down. Now, this palm is what's going to help you push up. See how those triceps engage? You need to come up to a triangle. That's using your abs. Bring it back down. After you get to your triangle, you need to tuck your head because all you're doing is a somersault. So if y'all ever want to play around when you were little, hashtag nostalgia, and you did a somersault, on the tan bark and got tan bark in your hair. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> That's not a joke. The boys are lost. The girls know what I'm talking about. You have tan bark in your hair. Your crush is watching you. You made a fool of yourself. This is where we are right now, okay? So bring it back. You're gonna push up, go to a triangle, tuck your little head, and keep your legs glued together. Here we go, Maddie. Yep. Six, seven, eight. Push. Tuck legs together, up. Try it a couple times. Get to your triangle. Tuck your head under. As you're doing your somersault, keep your legs glued together and you'll come up. Good luck. <laughs> okay guys, so as promised, we're gonna combine those together. The order goes, monkey tuck, left back roll, right chug, a little pot de bray added in there, a little scoop a doop into your dead fish roll. We're gonna show it to you. So we go five, we'll go nice and slow. Six, seven, eight. Monkey tuck, left arm roll on your back. I'm now ready to step onto my left foot. Chuck, stand up facing the back. Pot de bray around, right, left, right. A little scoop to the floor. Oops. Sit. I'm gonna roll on my booty. 
to lay on my tummy. Press up and roll. And seam. Let's show that again. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. Monkey tuck, roll to the left. Chug to the right, stand up, facing back. Pot of right. scoop, tuck your left. Roll to your tummy, fish. And seam. <laughs> Woo! Sweating. <sighs> Matt's wearing the same outfit. Yeah, it's, I only have two, y'all. Very poor. I changed outfits because I'm a lady. Yep. You guys. Classier than me. That's your floor work. I am classier. Take all those moves. You can add them in your choreography. You can wow your teacher in lyrical or contemporary. Some of those I could even argue might even be in your jazz class. Um, but yeah, that's some just basic floor work that you can combine in different orders and create some really cool phrases. Do you have anything to say about yourself? About me, specifically? No. Oh, I'm... It's not have, about you, Matt. Well, you said about, have, have fun, be good. Do you have anything practice. to say about me? She's great. Congrats to her, 100,000, all of you out there. 100,000. Is that what I said? I said 1,000. I said 100,000. 1,000, how dare you. The big number that you got to, good job. Love you all. Can you carry me off? We haven't done this in a while. Yes, I can. Up potato. See y'all. Up potato. <laughs>